Four months ago, its name was not known beyond the immediate countryside. Then came the march of the Army officers for a place for the establishment of the first school of aviation for purposes of war in the world's history by any government. From that moment, to all the countries of the earth went the name of College Park. The College Park Airport is the oldest continuously operated airport in the world. It is often called the cradle of American aviation and the field of firsts because of its unique role in aviation history. The flight tests were now complete and the United States had its first aeroplane. The Army contract with the Wrights did require that they train at least two officers to operate the machine. A larger flying site was chosen at College Park, Maryland, and the plane and launching rig were hauled from Fort Myer. March 1911, the month in which General Arnold and myself were ordered to Dayton to learn to fly with the Wright brothers, after our very brief period of instruction of about a week, two to three hours in order to learn to fly, we were sent to College Park, Maryland. In his book, Air Mail, Jennies to Jets, Lipsner writes, at College Park on the morning of August 12th, we had a small ceremony during which Mrs. Lipsner presented to Max Miller the flag which I had received from the Standard Company. He was to carry it with him on his flight as a good luck omen. This same flag was carried on all our trailblazing flights the proving ground, the foundation for commercial aviation was literally laid for us as a country and as a people out of the College Park Airport. So many of our great aviation companies that we know today began as these young fledgling airmail contractors that were also willing to take on passengers. After months of experimental flight tests, Bureau pilot Marshall S. Boggs and James L. Kinney, check pilot, made the first blind landing ever at the College Park Airport using a complete system that integrated instruments on the ground with those in their aircraft. The instrument landing systems used throughout the world today can trace their origin to the work at the College Park Airport. From 1919 to 1925, the father and son team of Emil and Henry Berliner were the most prolific of the early American helicopter pioneers. In 1924, they tested a machine here at College Park that set a new standard for helicopter performance of the time. And it's this machine that we see here at the College Park Aviation Museum. Berliner and Wyke had the idea of building a small plane for private use that was simple and easy to fly. Pursuing that goal led to the creation of the popular air coupe. Anybody can learn to fly one of these. Yes, this is a sneak preview of the future of air transportation. George Brinkerhoff, often called Brink by his friends and family. Brinkerhoff taught many pilots to fly over the 30 years he operated the airport. One of the most popular annual events that Brinkerhoff hosted were the Langley Day Air Meets, sponsored by the Washington Air Derby Association. Unfortunately, for security reasons at the outset of World War II, all flying activities within 150 miles of Washington, D.C. were prohibited. Because of the threat that pilots would lose a place to keep their airplanes, and the public's growing knowledge of the airport's rich history, interested citizens began to unite in the effort to save the College Park Airport and to establish an aviation museum there. There was some doubt in our minds whether we would get the support of the community because there are people in the community opposing the idea of continuing the airport. 
the county recognition or accepting the property as a historical landmark was the turning point. That was the place where we knew we had won the battle. It wasn't going to go away. Children and children at heart could once again look up in amazement and marvel at the incredible ability of pilot and plane while walking the same ground as the Wright brothers and other aviation pioneers. Among the festivities on August 29, 2009, the museum unveiled the first working reproduction of the original Wright 1909 military flyer, a field where the Army's belief in the future of powered flight laid the foundation for what would later become the United States Air Force, a field that nurtured many early American aviation firsts. All here at this field of firsts, the College Park Airport.